Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I uploaded any videos to my channel, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my last video about uh, my impressions of the Nintendo Switch. Um, it's selling extremely well, and uh, the topic I want to talk about today in this video is uh, what is drama? Um, and this is actually a topic that I've never actually discussed before um, on my channel. I've never made a video on this topic. So, and this particular um, concept, and and this this is a particular concept that took me a. I've I failed. This topic took me a, a very long time to grasp. I'm not going to go into the full um the full extent of the subject however um because it is a, it is a very vast um it is a very vast subject so we're going to focus on three kinds of drama today we're going to focus on um emotion emotional drama um, negative drama and management drama. Okay, so first, first off, first and foremost, um, let's talk about negative drama. Uh, first off, what is what is negative drama? Negative drama is when you do something. And this could be something uh, very, very small. Usually it's something very, very small. Or it could be something quite large. Um, let's let's take uh, the drama with uh, John Tron and PewDiePie and Colin Moriarty, for example. Um... They were over on Twitter and they were tweeting and Colin Moriarty, uh, who used to work for IGN, uh, made a joke about uh, women not going to work on International Women's Day. Uh, now his tweet, which was only four little words, uh, caused some major negative drama. And John JonTron... Um, caused negative drama as well. So uh what I'm what I'm getting at is y you can cause negative drama very fast and by 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 saying something or by doing something and it can be small or or big. It doesn't matter the size um of the negative drama, but uh, I, I've learned uh, the thing to do is to not, um, not uh, how how to how how to not how to how to not cause negative drama. Now, that's one I've struggled with for for quite a while, and I've finally got the hang of it. Um, now, as I said, drama is a great deal of many things, and negative drama is caused by emotions, uh, which emotions are ego-based. Uh, getting offended is ego-based. Getting angry is ego-based. Um, all emotions are ego-based except for sadness. But how to avoid, uh, how how to avoid negative drama, is uh, from what I've learned and from what I've from what I've gathered, is uh, number one. First of all, don't if 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 you're having a fight with somebody, if you're fighting with somebody, and you're having a disagreement with somebody, or you're fighting, or whatever the case may be, don't involve other friends in your other friends' squabbles. 
because uh, if you're sitting here watching this video and maybe you're having a fight with a friend right now, at, at this very moment, you might be having a f having a fight with a friend of yours, uh, or or you you might be having a squabble. Um, allow me to offer some very very good, some very very useful advice. Is don't involve your other friend in don't 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 involve your other friend in your friend's squabble. Even if even even if you're friends with them and you might think, well my friend my friend and I aren't getting along. This friend is being a jerk. This friend I, I don't feel like this friend is treating me right. Again, that's emotional drama. Emotional drama is ego based. Uh and that's you know that that's that's not that's not healthy uh and it's it's what is known as emotional drama and emotional drama can cause uh toxic situations and the situations can become toxic very very quickly uh as you know as with drama situ uh drama can cause problems toxic situations uh, all of a sudden, you might you'll you'll basically find yourself. What it is, you'll you'll find yourself in a vortex of hell. And I, I've been to the vortex of hell, and that's one place that I'm not planning to go back to ever again. So, a word of advice, and the you know the best thing you can do is if you're you, if you and your friend are are having a fight or squabble. Um, don't involve your other friends in that particular squabble, uh, because nine times out of ten, and I can tell you a hundred percent, nine times out of ten, chances are, uh, or actually, let's, let's go ten out of ten. I guarantee you ten out of ten, a hundred percent that your friends aren't going to want to be involved in that squabble, because... Then you're creating um, negative drama. You're 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 creating a negative environment. Uh, you're creating drama that doesn't need to be there at all. You're making an issue, creating an issue for yourself that doesn't. It's it's ba it's basically a non-issue, um, and it's 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 just that's just not something that you do and that's something that i've come to learn uh, over the course of this time is that if you're not getting along with a friend of yours or you're you you and a friend are having a fight trust me and and i'm saying this because it's worth repeating trust me a 100% your other friends aren't going to want to get involved so before you before you think about getting uh, your other friends involved, uh, I, I, w I, w I would highly suggest and highly recommend that you don't, because that's not a good idea. Because you're causing um, you're causing a negative environment, which is causing negative drama, which uh, then causes a toxic situation. Uh, which also causes emotional drama, if that makes any sense. Uh, so you're causing a lot of, you're causing, basically, basically at the end of the day, you're causing a lot of drama, basically. And so, it's, um, tr try, try to avoid the vortex of hell if you can, because I've been there. And I've finally come, come to, um, come to realize and, and, and learn based on uh, my, my experiences and, and based on time um, it's 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 definitely been a a, a journey um, to learn this lesson but I'm I'm glad that I did and I'm glad that it took as much I mean it might have taken some time um, but I hope 
you know, if you're watching this video, you can learn something too. Um, and I, you know, again, I highly recommend you take my advice um, because uh, I, I know this firsthand. Um, you don't want to create that toxic, negative, um, emotional drama um, and and you don't want to go into the vortex of hell because it's not a fun place to be. So, guys, uh, if you found this video helpful, um, leave a like down below, uh, comment, and uh, just today, um, take what I said into consideration and... Uh, I, again, you know, uh, you can either take my advice, I highly recommend that you do, um, but I mean, you, I mean, you're your own person, you can do whatever, whatever you want, uh, and, uh, so, have a great day, um, the Uncharted 4 review is coming, I'm, I'm finding myself, um, uh, muddling through that game, I just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done it. But I'm I just I'm I'm not enjoying the experience. So uh but the review is coming. Um I hope to get it to you in a few weeks. Um hopefully sooner than later. I'm almost finished, but uh, Uncharted 4 review is coming soon. So um stay tuned for that in a couple of days as well. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next video.